Now comes the real test. Like you mentioned, Rangers come to town. They open up a four-game set. What has been the Rangers' key to be able to be so dominant in this rivalry recently? They've come up with some a lot of late-inning uh, magic against the Astros. Games that have been very competitive, while clearly one-sided in terms of wins and losses. I mean, the Rangers were 15-4 and four against the Astros last year. That's why they were division champs, and that's why the Astros were watching the playoffs. Um, if you can't beat the best team in your division, and it's that one-sided, forget about it. Uh, what the good news for the Astros is this year, it's been that one-sided against the rest of the division. They've played 16 division games already, and they're 12-4. and four. This is their first matchup with the Rangers, who clearly aren't the team they were a year ago. Adrian Beltre has a lot to do with that. And I think the Astros know this is the time to take advantage of it. Uh, this, is, to me, is pretty much the, the, the last thing that stands in the way of proclaiming the Astros the AL West division champs. They've dominated the other three teams. If they get off to a good start against the Rangers, take three or four, let's say, in this series, look good doing it, and it'll all come without Keuchel, because obviously he pitched yesterday, so he'll miss this series. Uh, I think that bodes very well for the Astros. Their bullpen's been very good. Like we mentioned earlier, even without Correa or Springer really hitting uh, for average very well so far this season, they've just gotten off to a tremendous start because they are a tough lineup to crack each and every day, each and every inning.